All right, here we are. All right, guys, what's going on, guys? My name is Policy Q here. Pow! Low, you already know. Let's go. And we're bringing to you another coaching session. We have one of my students here, Brian. Uh, and typically, my hair is not ever down. It's just I, could, I lost my scrunchie. I don't know where I put it. So now I got to kind of rock it this way. But anyways, today on today's session, what we're going to be helping Brian out really quickly, I'm going to kind of go over the topics, the problems that we're going to be talking about here today. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and have Brian introduce himself and he's going to share with you some of the problems that, uh, should I say not so much problems, but some of the things that he's eager to learn today that I think you guys are going to benefit from listening to this session. So again, what are we going to be covering today? Today we are going to be covering, um, we're going to be putting together a Facebook campaign, okay? So Brian has already done the research. Uh, he has already has the product that he's going to promote, and he's already has the, the keywords that he's going to be using. So today we're going to be putting all of that together, and we're going to basically be creating the ad image. We're going to be creating the ad copy, and we're going to be creating the targeting for it, okay? So I'm really excited to go over that with you. Really quickly, before we go ahead and move forward and I introduce Brian, I do want to let you know, um, obviously, I run an e-com success agency with my partner. I'm a co-founder and CEO of e-com success agency where we build done-for-you Shopify stores, we manage your products, advertising, and we help you make money with Shopify and e-commerce in today's time, right? Uh, as well as I also help people. I coach them and help them get to the next level with Shopify. If you guys are interested in that, you guys are more than happy to hit me up on uh, some of my social media platforms like WhatsApp, uh, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, Anchor. Uh, you can find me on Snapchat and on Instagram under Paolo CQ, P-A-O-U-L-O-C-Q. That goes for Snapchat and Instagram. Or you can find me on my Facebook fan page, Paolo CQ Shopify Coach, or my personal page, Paolo CQ. And if you guys are listening, listening to this on Anchor, or if you guys want to listen to some of my podcasts, you guys can go to anchor.com. It's a new social media platform for podcasts. I'm under Follow CQ. Uh, and if you guys want more information, you guys can feel free to go to policy, policyq.com, P-A-O-U-L-O-C-Q.com to get more information, learn a little bit about me, and see what I do here. Uh, with that being said, let's kind of get right into it, though. So, Brian, are you there? Yeah. Okay, Brian. So, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone and just let everybody know what you're looking to learn. and What's that, you know, what are you expecting from this session? Okay, my name is Brian Beltran. I'm 21 years old. I'm right now in college. And what I'm expecting to learn in this session is learn everything about the ad images, learn how to target the people. Nice, nice. Okay, awesome, man. So, I mean, Brian has pictures with Daddy Yankee, Rick Ross, man. So he's he's... He's pretty famous in, the, in that, right? So he's pretty cool. All right, so sounds good, man. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do, Brian. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you can actually just share your screen. I'm not sure if you remember how to share your screen. Do you, do you remember how to share your screen on this platform? Yeah, let me see. Okay, perfect. All right, check. Oh, yeah, I can see it, man. Sounds perfect, man. So, uh, yeah, I just need you to pull up. I want you to pull up Canva.com. I want you to pull up the, uh, the products that, you, that we're going to be promoting. Right. And then I want you to pull up the, uh, the template, okay, where we have the keywords. And then we're going to go ahead and go from there. Okay, perfect. Can you sign up with Canva.com if you all, if uh, if you already have one, you can just log in. If you don't, all right, got it. Okay, cool. Sounds good. And let me just make sure that I can. What else you need? All right. So you have all of that ready to go. Perfect. Okay. So 
let me, I'm, this is just an important email that just came in. Let me just make sure to take care of it. It's going to take like two seconds, I swear. Don't worry, one second. Sorry about that. Okay. And if I don't do this, then I'm going to get in trouble. All right, cool. All right, perfect. Oh, oops. Perfect, though. All right, so here's what we're going to do. All right, so we're on Canva.com. So the first thing that we're going to be doing here, Brian, is we're actually going to be creating your ad images, okay? So we're going to be creating a traditional Facebook ad image, okay? So on the right-hand corner, do you see where it says use custom dimensions? Yeah. Okay, I want you to click on there, okay? And then when you click on that, I want you to put 1,200. And then on the next one, I want you to put 1,200. So it should be 1,200 by 1,200. Okay, and then you're gonna click design. Perfect, okay, so the reason why we're doing a 1200 by 1200 image is because we want a nice big image that grabs people attention instead of a rectangle image, right? A big 1200 by 1200 is really gonna stick out and it's gonna pop out. So now what we're gonna do, Brian, is I want you to take the, I, I want you to show me the product that we're gonna promote, the, uh, the first product that we're gonna be promoting here. Okay, cool, it's gonna be this one, right? Yeah. All right, so there's a couple things that we need to do, which we'll, we'll take care in just a second. But um, this is a cool one. It seems like it has, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that the one right there, that the one that's nice, that the first big image with the white background, yeah. Hit the uh, eyeball, hit the eyeball. Perfect, once you hit the eyeball, you're gonna go ahead and right click on that and then you're gonna save image as. And uh, you can go ahead and create a name for that. So we can go ahead and access that in, in just a second here. Okay. I can press done here. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Now you can go to canva.com. I want you to go to canva.com. Right, perfect. And then I want you to click on where it says uploads. Okay, and then I just want you to click on upload your image and go ahead and upload the, uh, that image for me, brother which is right there that's perfect okay perfect and uh now you're gonna drag that over to the white page okay and now what we're gonna do here brother is uh you're gonna make this image nice and big okay so make that image nice and big and keep making it keep making it bigger okay you can keep making it bigger Okay, uh, and now you're gonna pull it up, pull it up, push it up, and then keep going, keep going, all the way up, keep going, or a little bit further until, keep going, there we go, perfect. All right, now what you're gonna do is I want you, do you see where it says search on the left-hand corner? It says search a million images or something like that? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna type in the word square. Uh -huh. You're gonna type in the word square and then when you type in the word square is uh, you're gonna hit enter and now you're gonna grab that orange square for me. Grab that orange square for me. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and, uh, and you're gonna bring that down and you're gonna make it a rectangle. So we're gonna create like a rectangle banner. So, so okay, can you make that square into a rectangle? Yeah, there we go. And now, yeah, okay, cool. There? Almost. We want a, a, a rectangle. So go to the middle of the square and push it down. Now stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Stretch it out. Yeah, go ahead, stretch it out. Yeah, keep stretching it the whole way. There we go. Okay, perfect, all right. And uh, cool, that looks pretty good to me. Um, now what we're gonna do is uh, on the top, on the top, do you see on the top where you see the colors? Do you see the colors at the top? So they disappeared, they disappeared. Click on the rectangle again. Okay, now they should be there. Now click on the colors at the top. Uh-huh, and uh, the left one. We're gonna go with what works for me, okay? Again, Everything that I teach you, there's no right or wrong. I'm just teaching you off of experience and I'm teaching you off of what works best for me and what grabs attention. So click on that. And then you're gonna click on the yellow color. Yeah, exactly. 
perfect. And then, uh, and then, yeah, you're just gonna kind of leave that red there. That's totally fine. And then I want you to click on text all the way on the left hand side. Uh huh. Click on that, and then you're gonna click on add heading, and you're gonna drag that over to the middle of the page in the banner. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. I leave it there. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. No, don't leave it there. Don't leave it there. Put it in the middle of the uh, of the square. Right here. Yeah, but I don't think you're dragging it. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. You gotta drag it. Right there. Now bring it. Cool. Now what I want you to write in there. I want you to write on sale, fifty percent off. Just type in that. And all capital letters, all capital letters there for me, please. On sale, 50%, the percentage sign, 50% off. Okay, now I want you to go to the top and I want you to make the size 72. Perfect. Now I want you to fix the rectangle. Notice how on the left side, Notice how on the left-hand side, it's like a, like a red line, and then on the right-hand side, it's missing. You just got to push it in a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Now, now I want you to click on the dolphin neck, necklace, and I want you to click on filter on the left-hand corner. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and increase the contrast by 30%. Right there. Cool. That's perfect. That's fine. And now you can click off of that. Okay, you can just click off of that. So then, perfect. All right, so there it is, man. We have a, a really simple ad image that's just gonna, it's gonna grab attention. It's gonna work because it's simple. Okay, so what did we do here? All we simply did is we basically took one of the best images from the product. We put it, we put it on canva.com, we uploaded it. And then we went ahead and created a banner that said on sale 50% off. A, a big banner that says on sale 50% off. Whenever we see on sale and then we see a percentage, it's gonna grab our attention, right? So we have a nice picture there, a nice banner there um, with a discount of what they're gonna be getting when they go ahead and purchase this necklace. And then we decided to do another thing. We decided to increase the filter. We, we uh, excuse me, we decided to increase the contrast by 30% to make it pop a little bit more, right? Just make it pop a little bit more. Now, what we're gonna do here, Brian, is I'm gonna give you another way for you to create another ad here, okay? I don't know why I'm doing this. Typically, I don't do this, but because I think, this, I think you might find this super handy, okay? So this is one way to create an ad. The next way that we're gonna create an ad is I want you to duplicate this ad real quick. Just duplicate it for me. And not to say that this ad image won't work, but it's always good to split test. So you see underneath the one, there's two little squares underneath the one on the right hand side, all the way on the right hand side. So look at the one, you see where the number one is at? And then underneath it, underneath it, click on that. Okay, now I want you to open up another tab, go on Google and type in dolphin. Okay, type, click, and then click on image. Very cool, and let's see which one we can grab. That would probably be a good one. Mm. Let's go with that one, that with the, with the three dolphins jumping out of the water. Let's go with that one, yeah. Can you, I think you might have to click on it, right? Or no, well, I guess not. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Now you're going to go back to Canva. Okay, you're just going to drag that picture in there. The, the one we just downloaded from, uh, from Google. Do I have to upload it? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So really quickly, what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead, go, click on where it says elements. Click on where it says elements on the left-hand side. <clears throat> Perfect. And now what you're going to do is you see where it says frames on the right hand side, click on frames. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep going, keep going, keep going, mm -hmm. keep going. I'll tell you what to stop. Keep going. 
keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. All right, stop right there. All right, um, you're gonna click on um, move your mouse so I can guide you. A little lower, keep going lower, keep going lower, keep going lower. All right, stop right there. Click to the right, to the right. All right, now drag that and put that on top of the dolphin necklace. Drag that, hold it, and drag it over to the, to the, there. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, leave it, just drop it on there. Cool. Now what you're gonna do is now you're gonna grab the image of the necklace. And you're gonna try to put it in that square. Try to see if you could fit it into that square. Okay, perfect. Now, go. Now you're gonna go back to uploads. Okay, and now you're gonna bring over that uh, dolphin image. Okay. Um, can you make it bigger? But if you make it bigger, it's gonna look distorted. Who cares? I think we might be able to pull it off. Okay, keep, yeah, we might be able to pull it off. Um, keep making it bigger. Keep making it bigger. Okay. It's blocking the uh, image now. So what you're going to do is click on the right-hand corner. You see where it says arrange? You see where it says copy? And, all right. And you're going to click back. You're going to click, okay, cool. And now I want you to make it big to, so it covers the entire white space. Like I want it to cover the whole thing. Keep making it big because there's still white underneath. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in a second. So drag it from the bottom too. Drag it from the bottom as well. And keep making, yeah, just keep dragging it. Yeah, I want, I want it to cover the whole thing. Uh -huh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, stop right there, that's fine. Uh, that's right, that's good. All right, cool. Now what you're gonna do is, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna basically, um, you're gonna move the uh, you're gonna move the uh, the image where the necklace is at. I want you to move it a little bit. I want you to make it bigger. Make make that image a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Keep going. 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 And stop right there. That's perfect. Now I want you to move that. Uh, actually, you could probably leave it right there. Now, I want you to move the picture of the dolphins a little bit to the left-hand corner to the top. The image of the dolphins. Keep going. I want maybe that to show, something like that. So can you bring that, can you click on the uh, dolphin image again and then pull that down? But on the right-hand corner, that one, yeah. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. That's fine. And actually, hmm. okay, cool. That's fine. And now what you're going to do is you see where it says uh, right next to the word arrange, there's like these little polka dots, these little squares. Uh-huh. Click on that. And then I want you to make the transparency 50%. Cool. Now you could do something like this and then now click on the uh the uh dolphin necklace and now at the left hand corner i want you to change that to a red color at the top you see you see the the border lines go go all the way to the left hand corner right next to filter right next to filter click on the black black color and you're going to click on the on the red one yeah okay we're going to make it a little bit more brighter so click on the plus sign right next to the red and bring that all the way to the left hand side so it could be more brighter don't touch that that's fine now leave it leave it where it was at now on the bottom bring that all the way to the yeah to the left all the way to the left keep going perfect cool so now we have two ad images okay um the one we're going to go ahead and use is not going to be this one i'm just giving you ideas of how you can create something like this so maybe you can find a better image i'm not sure if this image is the best but you could do something like this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I've done an image like this that worked really well. Um, I put like cheerleaders in the background. I was selling like a football necklace or something like that. And I put an image of cheerleaders and it worked really well. So now what we're going to do, Brian, is we're going to go ahead and hit that download button. 
Okay, perfect. And we're going to go ahead and where it says all pages, we're just going to type in that little bar. We're just going to type in the number one. We just want one of them right now. And then click download. PGN. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. So basically what we did is we just kind of did two versions of it. We did one just with the necklace and then one with the necklace with the background of dolphins. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's, that's all we did there. Um, so now what we're going to do is I want you to go to the, the dolphin fan page that you created. Actually, before you even go there, can you go to your ads manager? Okay, perfect. You're there. Just stay there. Now click on the left-hand corner where it says audience insight on the left-hand corner. Audience insight. Keep going higher. Left-hand corner. Keep going right there. Click there. And now what you're going to do is you're actually going to click on, uh, sorry, scroll your mouse to where it says all tools underneath pixels. And now where, where it says, uh, where it says create and manage, click on page posts, which is right underneath. Yeah. Right there. Click on that one. Leave. The the only thing that that um the only thing that I didn't create was the 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 fan page of dolphins is because because you told me to just do the research. Okay, cool. So let's create the fan page right now. That should that shouldn't take long. So click on select the pan. Uh, click on um uh, on page post. Okay. Here. Yeah, and then click on all tools. And then what you're going to do there for me is you're going to go ahead and I guess we can't create a fan page over here. All right. Um, exit out of that. Can you just go to your regular, to your personal uh, Facebook page? Yeah. What do we and then click on where it says create page. And then you're gonna click on brand or product. And then choose category. Click on where it says choose category. And you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna click on websites or website. Website. Okay, now right there, right underneath website, you're gonna type in something like I love dolphins or dolphins for life or dolphins rock or dolphins are my life something like that something that that kind of shows that you're passionate about dolphins i gave you a couple of examples there you can choose any of them dolphins for life yeah i like cool you're gonna click uh just yeah Okay, perfect. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to go on Google and you're going to actually click. You already have a picture, I think. Click on uh, add a picture. Okay, click on upload photo. And then just click, just grab the picture that you got from Google with those three dolphins. Just grab that one, yeah. Uh, and then just, yeah, just click save. Okay, cool. So... When we're creating fan pages, we're creating like, this is like a dummy fan page. So we're using it just as a way to use it to, to run our ads on. So it's a dummy page until we know that it can really, it can, it can start it, it, until we know that this niche can be a profitable niche. Then you can build it out into a better looking fan page, but it doesn't make any sense to spend time. This is a big mistake that people do sometimes is that they spend like three hours making the fan page look perfect like they make sure they, they go they, they create the, the the banner they create the profile and they do this and that, and, you know and then nothing gets done because you don't even know if it's going to work or not so it's better just to create it the way we're doing it and then just just using it as a dummy fan page to run our ads until proven otherwise so we're done here we don't have to do anything and it's not like this is going to affect you in any way 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your uh, ads manager power there, click on that, and now click off of that, and then refresh the page. And then when you refresh the page, click on select the page, and you should be able to find the fan page that we just created. Perfect. All right, click on that. And now you're going to click create a post. All right, cool. Now you're going to click on photo. Perfect. All right, now you're going to click on upload or browser library. Very nice. And now you're just going to upload the image, which is going to be the on sale 50% off. So on the left hand corner, click on upload image. It's not there because you haven't uploaded it yet. And you're just gonna click on that, <clears throat> click on it. And then look for the, uh, the image that we just created. It should say on sale 50% off. It should be on downloads. This one. Yep. Open it up. And then you're gonna go ahead and click confirm. Perfect. And then on your post text, here's what we're gonna do. So. Let me kind of give you the concept of how we're going to create the ad copy. The ad copy is going to be really simple. It does not, we do not, we don't have to be so strategic on how to create the ad copy. We do have to have some kind of strategy, but we, we're selling something that people are already looking to buy. Like when I go on amazon.com, like when I read the Amazon's ad copy, it's not, it's, it doesn't have like subliminal messages. Like, if you decide to buy this right now, then like it doesn't, it's, we don't have to be like salesy about it. We could just be straight to the point. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the a really, we're going to ask a, a question that's going to get them to say yes in their mind. So a question could be, do you love dolphins? Question mark. You know, dolphins are cool, aren't they? Or if you think dolphins are cool, you know, or like something that gets them to agree with us. So we can keep it really simple, right? The fan page is called Dolphins for Life. So you could say something like, you know, you could say something like love dolphins, question mark. And what you could incorporate is emojis. Do you know how to do emojis? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll create, we'll create it together. So just type in right now, do you love dolphins? Do you? Question mark. Question. And then... Type in the next one is this, like, do you have a best friend? Question mark. And you're going to say something like perfect exclamation mark. And then uh, you're going to type in the next is going to say this week we're giving away don't say giving away this week we are this week linker cool just put enter i don't know <laughs> and then click all and then let's see what google tells us all right uh there we go do that one yeah uh-huh click on that and then you're just gonna go ahead and just post it in there cool and click on shorten url and then just copy that one at the top with the, yeah, uh, hit that. Uh, no, no, okay, cool. Cool. And now you're going to go back to your, the page post, Facebook that we were just creating the ad copy on. You're just going to post it on there. Okay, cool. Uh, you want to space it though. There we go. Now click create post. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Click on it. All right, so here's going to click on that and then click on the uh, do you love dolphins? Yeah, click on that. It's going to open up. What I want you to do, Brian, is I actually want you to add some emojis to make this look more to stand out. I want you to capitalize the word do on in the beginning of each sentence. Capital each, capitalize each letter on each sentence. So how you're going to edit this later, go to the top. Um, you see where it says like pages? Right next to it is a little arrow that's pointing down. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're going to click on edit post. Okay, cool. And then you're going to oh, edit it. So this is going to be your homework assignment. So we weren't able to get through everything, but we got through ad image and we basically got through the ad copy. Okay. So 
I think we got some work done here, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take the same thing and I want you to implement it across the board, across all of the products that you're planning on promoting in the future. I want you to do the same thing. Does that make sense? Got it. And then I want you to create emojis. So like where it says, do you love dolphins? Maybe put like a love emoji. Where it says, do you have a best friend? Use the friend emoji. Uh, where it says 50% uh, off, maybe put the money emoji. You know what I'm saying? And then where it says, get it, put the uh, the finger emoji pointing at the link. Does that make sense? Right after? Do I put it right after the 50%? Yeah, you can put it right after. Or, yeah, or in front of it probably is better. And then where it says, get it, I want you to put, like, the finger emoji pointing at the link. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or you can even, instead of the money bag, actually, Brian, put the fire sign in front of the 50, 50 and then the fire sign after the off. So, so I'll put the 50%, the fire sign, and then the off? So like the fire in front of the 50, and then the fire after the off. Okay. And then the love sign on the dolphins, and then the friend emoji in front of the best friend or after it. And then the little hand sign pointing at the link. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, if you do that, it's going to make this kind of pop a little bit more. Because emojis do work when you're doing ads. So. Definitely do emojis. That's going to be your homework assignment. And then I want you to do the, replicate this across the board with all your other products. Does that make sense? Got it. Okay, so we're pretty much, we pretty much covered the ad image, the ad copy, guys. Uh, for those who are watching this, if you guys like this, if you guys want more information on how you guys can get access to this hands-on coaching, obviously you can see how beneficial it is. Uh, in a second, I'm going to let Brian kind of share his feedback, ask him what he thought about the session, ask him if some of his problems were resolved on this session. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, again, guys, um, really quickly before we leave, Brian, what's your feedback? I mean, what did you think about the session? Did you think it was great? What did you learn? What was your big ideas? What were some, some of your takeaways? Yeah, it was good. I never thought that it would be kind of simple to do it just like that. Kind of yeah, yeah, no, simplicity is so powerful. John C. Maxwell was criticized for writing books that were too simple. And he responded. He said, it takes someone of intelligence to take something complicated and to simplify it. So being simple is powerful. So yeah, so I'm glad that you thought it was simple. It was easy to do. You took action on it. Congratulations. That's really powerful. Um, what is your commitment moving forward this week? What do you plan on doing with this information to help you get to the next level? I'm trying to do it on all the products and, and keep moving forward. Bam. Simple, man. Less is more. He's a, he's a man of a few words, man, but they're powerful words. <laughs> so, uh, again, guys, my name is Pow CQ. Pow! Low, you already know. Let's go. And you guys just watched an amazing episode of a coaching session here. Brian, thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate you. Without you, there is no episode. So thanks a lot for showing up. Again, guys, you guys can follow me on Paulo CQ on Snapchat, P A O U L O C Q. And you can do that on Instagram as well. You can follow me on Facebook on my fan page, Paulo CQ, Shopify Coach. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel follow CQ, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, or you can listen to some of my podcasts on Anchor, all right? Um, follow CQ, and if, for more information, if you guys want to get access to, reach out to me, you guys can go to paulocq.com, P-A-O-U-L-O-C-Q.com. You can reach out to me to get more coaching, obviously, on any of these platforms. And again, I am looking for interns. I'm looking for people who want to learn Shopify, but at the same time are willing to trade their time to help me build my agency, okay? It's not a paid position, but you are going to be paid with wisdom regarding Shopify. I know there's a lot of people interested in that. If you're interested, please email me at ecomsuccessagency at gmail.com. I will let you know what the requirements are for you to qualify for that, all right? I appreciate you guys. Thanks again. Thanks again for tuning in, listening to this. Appreciate you guys. My name is Paolo CQ, and I'm out. Pow, pow, peace. Brian, thanks so